Hey, Eric here from Games for Hyper. Today I want to show you a new advancement in my environment building toolkit. And it is something fun. Um, and obviously inspired from the electric dings example. And they have this uh, ditch. Um, but the ditch is so advanced. The graph is insanely big. It is... Uh, I think 16 level instances, uh, assemblies that I use with um, sometimes even thousands of different assets, a lot of tags and a lot of generation uh, uh, going on, which is um, uh, looks amazing. However, it's hard to use, especially for if you uh, just want to make it a bit more simple and want to make sure it's also playable. So what I did, I created my own level instance like this. I just created one. Um, so I got all kinds of assets, a bit rocky, etc. Um, I think it's about three meters high. And instead of using 16 of them, I only made one. And one of the core things that I also thought was necessary, if you're walking towards it, you actually want to be able to walk uh, to the ditch and in the electric dreams example there were all kinds of holes on the sides etc it looked amazing from the inside but from the outside it was not really playable for any character and also was too dense so that is why i uh, let me check created this one yes got it let me drag and drop it in here boom so I created my own ditch uh, with my own assembly. But now one of the core things that I'm really happy about is you can walk towards it. As you see, the landscape is actually the same height as the edge of that ditch, right? So uh, that's automatically deforming, which I really enjoy. And also the inside of the ditch, this one is automatically uh, decreasing the landscape. So now you see that we have an actually really nice looking ditch right here. And this ditch is obviously editable via spline. Um, so if we take this one, we can just drag and drop and it will regenerate everything. Boom, really nice. Um, and one of the other fun things is Oh, yeah, that was the wrong one. Is if we move the wall ditch down, then also the landscape goes down. Just like this. So it keeps that same height of the landscape, but it deforms the landscape right here. And uh, it's just so much more easy uh, to use and uh, I really like it. And obviously the inside, we can still deform that if we want to. So I made an, uh, let me just get this one as an example, a deformer right here. Oh, ah, because of all the grass, it's uh, less noticeable. So I'll put it more down, but you can see uh, now we have a ditch in this ditch, which is still working. And so we can actually layer it. And I love that. So let me delete that one again. And now the landscape is flat uh, on this level again. Nice. So yeah, uh, I'm really happy with this result. And it is uh, so easy to use. And it's uh, actually quite performant. And it still looks beautiful. So now we have the ditch with that forest environment. Uh, I have the, 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 the path generation. Um, I love it. I really think this is coming together really well. And uh, I hope you enjoy it too. If you have any feedback, please let me know. And I hope you have a great day. Congrats, you have reached the end of this video. And of course, uh, always feel free to reach out. For instance, in the comments below, via Discord or mail. And don't forget to check out our website and Discord. I'm happy to talk to you there. Have a nice day. Bye.